y'all, what's up? It's me, Lynn, and I'm back with Best Friends Whenever, and this is actually the last episode for the week of premieres. I saw that it wasn't no more episodes coming on, and this episode gave us a little more insight to that whole medieval time, what really happened with Sid and Shelby jumped back, and what will it affect. It wasn't too spooky spooky, unless, you know, after Shelby and Sid almost, almost perished to death, but, um, yeah. So, this episode was a little more interesting. We got a little more storylines maybe to look into. Now, we gotta see who was this maxed hooded person back in 15-whatever when back in her castle. I'm just like, what the heck is going on? It's like, it's getting really serious here. And I do not know when the next time this is coming on, most likely. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. It's probably gonna come on either in late November or early December for Christmas. Because I don't even know, I don't know why they do the week premiere things anymore. Does that bring more ratings? Does that help out with more episodes coming out? I do not know. Maybe trying to meet the deadline for something. I don't know. Hopefully they give a new again for another season. But I'm just like, I don't know why they do the week premieres anymore. They, like, they starting to do this. Like, they don't do it with Kissing the Cover, but they did it with Backstage and Best Friends and Ever. And then they did it with another show, and I just don't understand why they do that. So maybe somebody can explain to me in the comments, why do they do week premieres and show episodes every day? Wouldn't that make the anticipation not as big because then you won't have to wait a whole week you don't have to wait just another day but anyway yeah so let's get on with this recap so it started off with shelby ran in that's not start off but i miss first right shelby ran in and she was like daisy she was like daisy sis she's like guys i was talking to mike thompson and he asked for daisy number so i gave him mine so then it was like hey that's the second rule of girl code sisters before misses you don't do that and she was like the first rule of girl code is if eating fries is healthier we ordered for the table so she's like, no, you know, Daisy don't have a phone. Daisy need a phone. Daisy need, Daisy got good clothes. She need a phone. Like, where is she staying? Like, oh, she's staying at Nardo's house. I wonder how Nardo explained it to his parents. Like, oh, Daisy didn't stay up. Like, but anyway, yeah, so she don't have a phone. So then it was like, look, she did not know, Daisy did not know why Mike typed U-R-A-Q-T-J-S. She was like, you're just and it's like, no, it's you are a cutie, girl. And then she, she's like, oh, okay, I'm so glad he's not a hill person because hill people are bad. So they was like, look, um, I'm going to just send him a, Shelby sent him a panic emoji. And she's like, look, it's like getting short to the point where I say what you really mean. I'm like, I don't even know what a panda on a freaking bike is. What is that? I don't even know. I don't even know. But anyway, so Daisy's like, look, I really don't want to hang out with him. I got to go to this, I got to do like harp choir or whatever. So he's like, what? She's not going to do that. It's something wrong with her. So they had to figure out what was wrong with her. But her outfit was really cute. She's like, look, I can't do it because I'm engaged to be married. He's like, wait, you can't get married. You're only 15. And she's like, actually, I can't. I never met the man before. So then Shelby's like, look, you are a modern day woman. We run companies, we run countries, and we got high computer imaging equipment that would show how a baby would look with Sid's eyes and my hair. So the Sid was like, you did not do that show. And she's like, I didn't. But to be honest, that girl was cute. Her name was Emma. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So she's like, look, we're going to get you out of this whole situation. They're going to jump back and break her fiance's heart and say, look, we off. We don't even care. So, yeah, Daisy kept a pouch of the, his scent and a little portion of him so they could tell who he was. And his name was Sebastian. So then Shelby was like, you sure you want to break up with him? Sebastian is a high guy name. And then Sid was like, Shelby. So then Shelby was like, look, girl, you you got a po pouch full of pocket, you know, pizza rock. What do they call them? Pizza pockets? Pizza rolls. I miss pizza rolls. First of all, I sound like an old person in pizza pockets. No, I miss pizza rolls a lot. I'm just like, pizza rolls are good. And they burn, it, they burn your tongue so bad, though. Like, you know... You know the pizza roll is hot, but you still intend to do it with the intentions of knowing that it's hot, but with the intention of haunt, being hungry. So it's just like, to be or not to be, life or death situation here. You're so hungry that you literally die from a burning hot pizza, but you don't want to live hungry. You see what I'm saying here? But pizza rolls are good, which basically I'm just trying to say, pizza rolls are the best. So, it was like, look. They won't jump back to the old 15th century. No, that's it. The 14th. They did just jump back to 15, whatever. So, it seems like this place is dirty and I expect this. So, the show was like, dang, I should have peed before I came here. Where's the bathroom? So, then it seems like, it smelled like the bathroom is anywhere in here. So, I, I think you can go anywhere. So, look. They was like, look, we about to get kicked out. So, the show was like, oh, no. Do we not have enough teeth? We don't, we don't have, do we got too much teeth? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, they got kicked out. So, they tried to do Australian accent, but it did not work. So, the bartender was like, Scooch, I know that's not what he was called, but the guy he was Scooch was like, yeah. You, you, and I was like, how did they, shouldn't they have adapted? This is my thing. Back when they used to jump from, well, no, okay, that's when they was, okay, so they didn't exist back then. So, but shouldn't they have already jumped into new fresh clothes? I guess not. 
But anyway, so Barry and Nardo, they was playing this cool game, you know, it was, I forgot what it was called, but Nardo was like, oh my god, I can't believe no one else in the school, entire school will play with you. I'm having so much fun. So Daisy came, she wanted to take her mind off the whole situation, she wanted to hang out. So Barry get his own kingdom name, and Nardo had his own kingdom name. Nardo's kingdom name was Steve Harvey, so they're like, look, we can make up our own. So yeah, the person with the better spell win. Daisy freaking won. Barry thought his strategy was gonna work, so then Nardo's like, oh my god, no, your strategy was humiliation. I would have totally thought about that. So yeah, she was like, well, we had a different game called the castles on attack, and then we just keep the person's head that we cut off. So she's like, look, I'm gonna give you back his, my your cards. He was like, no, 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 don't give them back. I have to win them back. So he kept trying to win them back. She wanted to play the Wii. I'm like, they still play Wii's on here now? Like, Wii! But they still play Wii's. Wii's is still popping, guys. Don't don't sleep on the Wii. But anyway, so she started playing Sword Drop, a medieval battle time game. She was like, oh my god, Sword Drop. She freaking dropped the remote. Nardo was like, oh my god, she beat you all that other stuff. Princess, princess, princess time. She just bring you at everything. So he's going to give his action figures to her. So she's like, no, I don't want anything from you. He's like, no. It's, you gotta, it, you know, it's about to be the best. You gotta be the best, and you gotta glow about it afterwards. And I can't glow if you give me back my stuff. Come on, we gotta win. This is winning. This is how the rules go. So he's really, he's really hard on winning. I feel, I feel his pain. You know what I'm saying? I'm competitive too. I am competitive, and I do feel like rules are rules. So yeah, unless I want to break him when I want to win. So, but anyway, yeah. So look, she was, he was like, basically, Nada, we're gonna make up a fake game. So then Nada was like, okay, we can call it Corks Knox, and he was like. Why Corks and Oxy? He's like, I don't know. We just thought about it. So then Daisy's like, that's an odd name. He's like, yeah, it was at first, but we just went with it. Meanwhile, Sid and Shelby, they had the dress up. And Sid was like, I look ridiculous. People who is wearing dresses, I don't like the way, way it feels like I'm wearing a giant pant leg. So then Shelby turned into Shelby and pretended to be a boy who wants to come to the big city and live his dreams. So look, Sid had to work because she, she was a winch or whatever. Sid had to work because she was a woman. So then Sid was like, look, don't you get du your Dublin and twist. I'm going to go serve this food. So Shelby was like, oh my god. This portrait of Sebastian looked like someone started to paint and had immediately forgot how to. It looked freaking terrible. It looked terrible. Meanwhile, Sid went to go set th this person they food down. She's like, here's a dumb food. And like, all the guys started burping. So then she did it. And it was like, oh, what? You cool, huh? You cool. So then they handed her a piece of meat. And she was like, I can eat. So she went and ate that mutton food. They call it mutton back then. Mutton. It was really just meat. Anyway, so then Sid, <laughs> Shelby went to go talk to the bartender guy. He freaking spin the cup. She was like, okay. But um, she was like, hey man, I'm here talking to you about another another person of our gender. And he's like, it's not working to say it. So then she's like, I'm looking for Sebastian. You know what I'm saying? This reminds me of, oh my god. Sebastian, she's the man of the real life. She's the man that Amanda Bynes movie. She's like, Sebastian. But yeah. Anyway, so um. He was like, look, that's some juicy gossip you got there that the princess want to leave her fiancé. Like, that's some juicy hot gossip. Are you the princess you want to leave him for? And she's like, well, I, I'm not saying that, but you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, so then he was like, she's like, I want to just get, you know, it's hard to get rid of women. So he was like, yeah, you tell me about it. It's hard to get rid of them, but they, you need them to do the laundry. So then she was like, I am highly offended. So then she's like, that's what a woman would say because she had to keep her covered. So she went over to the table where she thought Sebastian was. Sid was arm wrestling Sebastian. He was like, look, you gotta clean my horse so I can see my reflection in it when I'm done with you. So she's like, if you wanna see the reflection, you better look at the horse's butt. So yeah, the base his bow. So he beat her at arm wrestling. So then he was like, look, go he clean my horse, it, horse. So then he was like, winches, right? Then Shelby was like, yeah, man, winches. So then she's like, I'm sorry, Sid, I love you, Sid. And Sid was like, but yeah, so she had to go do that. But that's Sebastian. Sebastian was basically like, I love having muscles. And then she was going to tell him about him. And she, at first he was like, I don't believe you. But then she showed him the pouch. And she was like, oh, you got my pouch in my rag. Oh my God. But you got to fight. He's like, I'll give him my engagement, tiny man. But I'm going to have to fight you to death. I'm like, bro, the bartender was being mad messy. He was like, maybe the person you want to duel is right here. And then he was like, well, it's hard. I don't want to. No, she don't want to be my wife. It's not like I asked to have this perfect show when I woke up, not did I? I don't even know what he was talking about. But yeah, so basically they have to do all to the death. And Shelby was just like, okay. Oh, okay. So Sid came and washed the horse. She was like, I washed your horse, but I'm keeping the change that I found under the saddle. So then they got to fight the death. Sid was like, what did I miss? And then the bartender was guy was like, we need to go bust some tables. The table needs water. So she was like... And she, she was so mad. So then Shelby was like, we should settle this like men. And then he was, she was like, we are settling this like men. And that's a sword fight. Like, what do you need to talk about? But yeah, Shelby, oh my god. Shelby 
was like said it's jumping time and Sid was like look I can't get through you know she they was blocking her from getting through so then he's like stop running face me coward so the so the guy the bartender guy he's like Sid you better get back to work winch and she's like I quit and she stepped on his toe he's like oh my god that was my last toe no I cannot anyway so Shelby's stunts was amazing I know maybe Lauren Taylor probably didn't do it all the way and she was doing like real flips but they was amazing the guy she jumped because she thought he was swing the sword up under she's like oh shoot I timed that wrong you were supposed to swing the sword up under before I jumped but you know what let's do that again so then they did it so then she like jumped over and it was really cool but um yeah he was about to kill her he was about to freaking physically kill Shelby I don't know I guess she would have died back in that time then a whole bunch of stuff would have rippled effect but he was about to freaking kill her until Sid was like Daisy doesn't belong to anyone. You attack my friend, you attack me. So she was doing it. Yeah, she got it. Those those are some best swords. This like the most action-packed episodes I have ever seen. Like the most action-packed. They was doing it. I like that. Like, see his hair look good, nice. It was flowing. So anyway, she's like, yes, my so I, my sword says we beat your sword. So she's like, in the engagement, engagement, and I'll spell your life. So he's like, fine, whatever. So it's still, she's like, it's amazing what you can do when you when you're about to die and you got a sword in your hand. So yeah, they was like, look, um, he was with the kill said, but then she'll be knocked him out with a mug, and she's like, look, what can I say? I live the mug life. So then still was like, you your own worst enemy. I don't know why you even said that, girl. I don't know what's wrong with you. So yeah, they was like, we wish we could tell Sebastian the truth about Daisy, you know, and time traveling and all this and that. But he was still up on the floor, so he heard all of that on the floor, still awake. So I don't know what's going to happen, but he heard that, so now he might jump, time jump, and you don't know who he is in the future. I'm just like, wow. That was freaking crazy. That was crazy. That was wild. Like, he's what well, he heard that. So now, is just Janet Smythe fitting this somehow? Who is that hooded person? Who is that person? Who is it? Is it Daisy? I don't know. I don't even know who it is. But meanwhile, Barry, he was playing. He was doing a whole bunch of somersaults. And Daisy didn't really didn't want to play anymore. But, yeah, Barry, he was trying to get extra points. But um, they are trying to make him get extra points. Anybody with a name that started with a B get 10,000 points. So he's like, haha, Barry really came from the German of of something with an F. So then he's like, what? I didn't know Barry started with an F. So, yeah, it wasn't really working too well. Meanwhile, he's acting really crazy again. So he was like, look. I don't really want her, I really don't want to win because I like playing with her. So then Ronald was like, oh, that's the least craziest thing you've done today. Because Barry thought that was kind of crazy. So, Ronald was like, okay, well, you're going to get up. So then he ended up winning the game, which is pretty cool. Well, actually, no. What's and Daisy made, I made him win the game. She's like, look, you stepped on the bonus points. You won. The game's over, finally. She was so happy that the game was over. It was so freaking happy. Then Shelby came in looking all cute with half. And she's like, yes, we ended your engagement. Then Barry was like, whoa, you engaged? Barry was about to tell Daisy that he liked her, but he was wrapped up in the rug and he had to get up. And but then Shelby and them interrupted him. I'm like, oh my god. So anyway, Sebastian's the status went from is from in a relationship to it is complicated. That's what Sid said. So they didn't go find Mike, hang out with Mike. So Barry was like, oh, it was nothing. I don't want to tell you nothing. So then I was like, are you okay? And then he was like, yeah, sometimes in the heat of Cork's knocks, emotions emerge. And he was like, you think what I'm thinking? And he was like, you want to play another game of medieval cards? And he was like, yeah. And also, you like Daisy. So, no, I don't know that he liked Daisy. And I guess that's like, um, yeah, because Barry had another girl from before. I can't think of a name. She, she, it's Madison who played her from Bizarre Bark. But yeah, he had another girl from before that. But, um, I don't know why they broke up. They never, they didn't never really say why they broke up. Maybe because she was a Bizarre Bark. But, yeah. So, they're like, I guess Daisy might like him too, but I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. But then at the end, Mike texted a heart sombrero and birthday cakes. And so he was like, that's disgusting. I'm going to text him to turkey leg because he don't even, not the right guy for you. So then Daisy's like, I'm sorry. I probably should have told you guys that that's how we do it with the sore fries. And she was like, yep. That would have been a great tip to tell us. You know what I'm saying? Little, little, little heads up. Little heads up. That would have been nice. So they was like, look, you safe now. We all going to be okay. But they wasn't okay. Because freaking Sebastian was up. He would not rest until he find Daisy, and he put a sword to this person's face. They was masked, though. He's like, where is Daisy? Where else is she in this tower? I'm like, first of all, she was supposed to be in the tower anyway. That's kidnapping. Second of all, would Shrek, did Shrek come get her? Like, who is that in that freaking hooded mask? I don't understand. I do not understand who that was. It was too much. I cannot wait to see the next episode to see how they do this. I really want the story to pan out. I really want to see what's going on. What's popping? What's the story like? Because it's interesting. Who is that person? I'm like, literally, I'm like, who? If, okay, it could be Janice Mike. Or it could be somebody from the future, future. Like, more future than this present. But I'm just like, I don't know. I do not know. And in the year 2016, so, yeah. 
I do not know. So maybe he might time jump if he found a portal, portal, Sebastian. Maybe he will because I guess he might find it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do not forget to check out other videos because we do have other videos. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm.